In this lesson, we're going to look at the first part of the winter etude, featuring a chorale style finger style part. And in this piece, we're going to start with our left hand in a shape that looks kind of like an A minor. In fact, it is part of an A minor chord, but we're going to figure it a little differently to accommodate the chord changes that come after this. So we're going to use just our first two fingers. First finger goes on the first fret on the B string, just like it would with a regular A minor chord. Our second finger is going to go second fret G string. And this will accommodate some chord changes that come afterwards so we don't have to move our left hand very much. And that's something that's critical to think about when you're learning any finger style piece is trying to find positions for the left hand that accommodate the future chords so that you can minimize having to move your left hand around. As you've probably noticed, moving the left hand in time with the chord changes is one of the most challenging aspects of both strumming songs and finger style pieces. Once we've found this proper left hand position, it's time to try the intro. Here we're going to play just these three top strings. Like so. And that's going to introduce the sound of the piece before we get into adding the bass. As we begin to add the bass, we start with an open A string. We're going to let that ring out. The next chord, we're going to keep our middle finger here on the second fret, and we add our third finger on the third fret on the sixth string, like so. Notice that when we do this chord change, our thumb has to switch from playing on the A string for the first chord to the sixth string. Now for the final chord of the A section, we lift up our third finger to play the open E string, but our middle finger can again stay there, and I encourage you to keep it locked there for these, all these chord changes. Finally, our first finger takes the place of that finger by pressing down on the first fret of the G string. So that last change should sound like that. Once you feel that you've gotten the hang of these chord changes, we're going to try to play all the way through the first section of the piece. Let's do this at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, one, two, go. So there you have it, the first section of the Winter Etude. In the next lesson, we're going to look at playing the second half of this piece and trying to combine that to play the full piece all the way through.